Hi. So I'm here and I'm going to do a Mac haul. I spent too much money on Mac stuff, but here's the bag. And I'm going to show you all the products that I got and kind of maybe try to do like a little bit of a swatch. I don't know, you might hear some stuff in the background. Got cute. So <laughs> bear with me, okay? So first thing I got is this extra dimension eyeshadow and it's in Ready to Party. I'm not ready to party ever. This is a really pretty color. Uh, the lady that was at the counter, she had this in her inner corner. So pretty. I was like, oh my god, I need that. I'm like, what do you have on your eyelid? So this probably doesn't give any justice to it. And it's, I wrote some stuff down about it um, from the website. And it's an extra dimension eyeshadow. It's a hybrid formula, high shine, and six hour wear. Crease proof, fade proof. We'll see. I got eyelid, uh, oily eyelids and um stay true color can be used wet or dry so um i plan to use it like the lady used it in her inner corner because it's so pretty and when you see it like this you're like i don't want to mess it up it's so pretty the little embossment and stuff but that's what it looks like it's kind of like a pinky see how shiny it is natural light over there it's really pretty so that's that and I also got I'm gonna sneeze over there. Uh, Club, which is just a regular eyeshadow, not from the Pro line. And because it wasn't a Pro store, I couldn't get it in the refill size. So I had to get the full size. I don't like these. But at least I can back to Mac this thing. Um, so Club eyeshadow is a satin, and it is. Um, described as a red brown with green pearl so I thought maybe I would try this out I don't know if you can see how it looks there use my nails really kind of have a shininess it's a really dark brown undertone and watch right there see it looks really brown there and then it goes shiny really pretty too so I'm excited to use that. Now, my nails, I already used this nail lacquer, this studio nail lacquer, it's in unzipped. I think it's from a line that was just launched recently. I didn't remember what it's called, but this is called unzipped. It's a really, really deep, dark green, and I had to have this. And at the counter that I went to, this was the last one. So, um, they come like that, of course. This one's a cream, and it looks like it. Really pretty green. Oh, you can see it. You can see it better in the bottle, I guess, than you can on my fingernails. It kind of looks like a black on my nails. And obviously, I'm a mom, so I gotta do stuff with the kids and the dishes, and so all of this gets all chipped up and whatnot happens. But I'm about to use this again too. And I decided to get a, another lip pencil. This one's in burgundy, so really dark red maroonish red color and thought this would be good for now because it's um i guess the weather out here in california has been making me feel like it's uh really a true fall <laughs> so this one kind of looks like when i got on but um not as dark of course and looks like that really pretty and so i plan on using that a lot and of course I should, because these are expensive, so use it till it's gone. <laughs> uh, two lipsticks. One is in Yash. Oh, I can't say that tiny word. And then the other is in Smoked Purple. Now Yash is described as a deep neutral matte. And who doesn't love their mattes, right? And it's a, um, I feel like it's like a kind of a peachy, peachy brown, but they call it neutral, so we'll go with what they say. So that one looks like that. Yeah, it's kind of peachy pink brown. But probably goes with a lot more skin tone because it's neutral. Uh, so yeah, very pretty color. And then the smoke purple. It's probably similar to what kind of I have on now. I have on what do I got? I got a rebel. And 
uh, Night Moth Lip Liner. So this one is also a matte and it's um, described as a deep eggplant purple. So nice and deep color. Gets them feeling kind of vampy. <laughs> so here's this one. Yeah. Yep. Really pretty color. And I like that it's matte too. Um, even though it'll dry your lips out a bit, but I don't have a thing against like really shiny lips. I don't know why. Maybe unless it's like a nude or something. But yeah, so. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. So I've been wanting to find like a really good um, liner, gel liner. So why not go to MAC? I've heard um, Inglot, Inglot, like an AMC liner is really good too. But I've got to try this. So. And I stuck my whole finger in it too. Look. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> so I guess we could just swatch it since it's all over my finger. We'll just put some back. Gross. All right. Boom. Oh, it's really gel. Gel like, really. It does feel kind of like a liquid. I think that's how they describe it too. And they also describe it as a, a flat, black matte. So this is the fluid line in black track and it's a gel liner so that's what it looks like uh, i think you get a pretty good amount and i'm hoping that it doesn't dry out really fast but i feel like i'm gonna be really happy with um how fast this will go on my lid without drying before i get to the wing and back and all that jazz yeah and i think it says yeah it's a uh, waterproof in like an eight hour wear or something too yeah, waterproof, smudge proof, eight hour wear, wear gel formula, um, solid flat black color. So, um, I plan to use these pretty soon, um, at least certain things. If there's anything that you guys want to see, um, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to be using them really soon and I'll make a video of it. And I will also use the, the black track fluid line and do a nice wing liner with it also. So, um, Thanks for watching and that was my quick neck haul. Thanks guys.